Hallo, wie geht's? We're here with Straight Benzes. Today's episode is about the high idle, about 1,500 RPM. And there's a lot of folks that have that issue on the uh, uh, KE Dretronic engines. And it doesn't matter if you have the six or eight cylinders. Um, here we go. Here's the most likely culprit. That is the idle control valve. And it doesn't matter, the, regardless of the uh, mileage, sometimes they get fouled up. Uh, the wires are no longer making a good connection. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing that usually happens is this bad boy here in the red cover fuses bad or the, the unit itself get, goes bad. So make sure that that is okay. Fix all major oil, um, <laughs> oil. vacuum leaks. But other than that, it's most likely this gizmo here. What to look for is you want to see about four and a half volts um, when, with the engine running. And here's what happens. So, here we should have, uh, let's see that in a moment, about four and a half volts. contacts up here at that plug I should read about four and a half volts and that's when the plug completely comes off uh, come on there you go so Exactly where it could be at either. And here's where I have the contacts on the plug on those two contacts. And if I unplug this completely. works it just stays gives the engine too much air and it occupy and I show you what that is caused for. So what you do is you loosen this up, remove the uh, air filter housing slightly and then disconnect this and make sure that those contacts are nice and clean put a little bit of uh, uh, anti-corrosion compound on that and then be really super careful that you don't break any of the plastic tubes but you need to jux one out after the other there we go that is this and see this little grommet in here oh, come on focus there you go this little plastic grommet here is what we need to come get out because Chances are this is still in good shape. This, this doesn't make any big rattling noises. Some of them are so gunked up that they need to be cleaned up. This one I cleaned up already and it's working great. It's just not adjusted right, but we need to pry this plastic grommet out and then I'll show you how to adjust this. Come on, focus. Here I have, see that little thread? and how much the brass bushing is still back there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move this brass piece back by a little bit. And that should help lower the RPM because behind it is 
a spring that's gonna push back on the inner cylinder. What, what I mean by that is the valve seat. I'm not quite sure. See that gap there? That is the gap that is affected by this little mini adjustment. And what we need for that is a uh, five millimeter, regular five millimeter screw. And once we have that, I'll show you what to do about that one right here. There it is. Five millimeter screw goes in here. We tighten that up here in a sec. So, and now, Take a pair of pliers and we're going to nudge this one up. And we'll come to a stop. There we go. And now we're going to take the screw out. See how the right there. How that little brass bushing is now flush with the top of the aluminum and we're going to put this back and then we're going to see uh, what the idle speed is and if it's too too low we're going to push it back we should be about at uh, 650 700 rpm something like that uh, definitely not 1100 plus listen to the difference all of a sudden it runs at right around uh, a little over 600, 650, and it runs beautiful. So now we can go ahead and put everything back together and enjoy a low island. Hey guys, <laughs> this was a fun but very wet episode of uh, Spray Benzers. Give me a like. <laughs> Hope you're having fun with this one. But this is so much more enjoyable with a low, reliable idle, idle where it needs to be. And you don't have to spend um, money on uh, a different one, refurbished one, or uh, those cheap $25 one from Amazon. Don't buy them their crap um, unless you're troubleshooting. This is how you fix this little doohickey. And, uh, well, good luck. Bye-bye.